Hello and welcome to today's episode. My name is Robotic Master. In the last episode, we revisited the cave that we initially looked at, episode 30. We got some plenty of resources. We got an entire stack of iron. So I've actually got a fair decent amount of iron, so I can probably start on the train track soon. And that is quite exciting. At the moment, I'm now clearing my inventory because we're now going to start making work on the super farm that I've been trying about. I mean, I mean, not super farm, the super storage unit, even that I have been working on for quite some time. I'm taking these so I can like mine the last bits of uh, stone that can't in the ground. I'm going back to my house so I can get some wood. Now I'm going to get plenty of wood. Yeah, that should be enough. That's probably more than enough, but I'm going to store the wood in this place anyway, so it's cool. What I need to do first is just clear out the bottom layer of stone and start putting like wood slabs in there. The um, the dungeon's still going to remain in this place. It's just merely going to become part of the framework. But I just need to be extra careful and mine this out so I don't cause myself or anything else any damage. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, and there's more iron. Any iron that I also find I will be mining out as well before I get to the point where it's uh, not going to do anything. But the important thing to get from this is that this will look pretty awesome once complete. And I just need to get this iron. This is in relation to the train track thing that I've been mentioning for quite some time. Which I will be building or will be starting to build shortly. Now that I have like a significant amount of iron. I can build more train tracks, see where I'm going from there. <coughs> Pun of me. Anyway, I'm just removing all the stone, andesite, granite and diorite that I can see on the ground. Using my pickaxe. And I'm just mining around this thing for now. And then once this is done, I'll be able to put in my wood like I normally would. And then we'll go from there. The reason I'm kind of building it like this because I want everything to look really cool. And the cooler it looks, the better it is for me and the better it is for anyone else that wants to watch this series and see where I keep my stuff. It's not going to be like redstone or anything. I'm not, to be honest, the biggest expert when it comes to like redstone contraptions. Maybe that's something I'll look into for future series. Uh, but for this series, it's just going to be a bog standard. Uh, loads of chess room. And that's what I quite like to do. It's kind of my preferred method. I know some people like to go in like really fancy, elaborate storage systems, but I do not have the patience to be doing with that. So I'm just going to make myself a very simple method, a very simple machine that requires no automation and a lot of manual sorting, which can be a pain in the backside, but hey, it's all going to be like sorted in its own different room when it's done is going to be a room for almost everything so I've got that to look forward to but we shall see there's always going to be plenty of furnaces in there so you'll be able to smelt a lot of stuff as well there's, even though I've got tons of furnaces right now I barely use them so if I put like a ton of furnaces in this one room I should be able to find a, a good reason to use them I'll get them out of the crates to use them and whatnot, there'll even there'll probably be a, a room for like coal and stuff like that. So I've got plenty of fuel resources. Anyway, let's go into building the floor, the wood part. I uh, will probably like rebuild this entire floor, but I'm just going to rebuild the bits that are uncovered for now. <coughs> Pardon me again. Yeah, I'll probably put the torches down. Once I've done this, I'll put the torches back down. But this will be the floor of the actual house. This won't be grass. At the end of it. And then once the grass is built... Yeah, once the grass is like... 
once this area is like up and running, we'll be able to get cracking. Also, this area I'm keeping as a dungeon, so this will not form part of the actual location. So I'm just going to build that like that and make sure that stops there. Because. And then what I'm going to do, just to make sure, I actually, no, nah, that's fine. That's fine. Oh. There we go. L plenty of oak wood. I will be replacing all of this with floor, with wood, oak wood, oak wood planks, this layer at least. But I want to do this at this point now to stop issues arising later on. It's not a big mistake to leave people you like that. But we're gonna build this up. I just want it on top of this, I don't want them underneath, it's not the end of the world, but I just want to keep it on top. So yeah, so let's just keep on going and build this on top of that. Let's go. I really like this, like I Initially, you had struggled to find this area after the massive fiasco that was an ep earlier episode of the series where I just started mining a random area. However, I think I have kindly made this area look really good. For me, a couple of episodes I spent doing this segment, uh, plus I spent quite a significant amount of time on off screen getting rid of the straggling bits that had yet to come down. Uh, I think I've done pretty well under the circumstances. Anyway. And that being said, let's finish up making up the floor. This is really intense music. I really like this particular track. Uh, not I'm not sure it's entirely appropriate for what we're doing. But this is Minecraft. I'm keeping my mind open to everything. That's my personal opinion anyway. It's better to keep your mind open for any everything and then you will never really be disappointed whatever happens. That's the way I live by, personally. Some people think I'm mad, but hey, I did kind of say to them, well, I've been mad for my entire life, so, yeah, there's that. And this music is so intense, like, I don't even know what to say, so I'm kind of keeping quiet at this point because this music is so intense. Like, I'm just kind of plunking some studs. On there, and they look pretty good. I'm quite enjoying that. And, uh, yeah. Although, I think we're getting somewhere. We made a bit of a breakthrough. There we go. Come on. Oh, oh come on. Will you just lay in the right segment for me? Please, pretty please. Yeah, thank you. I am running well low in health. Well low in health. I think that was due to the massive creeper blast fest that I attended in the last episode. Where I went night hunting and I just spot went couldn't cause some creepers. I thought it would be a good idea to like, fight them. And then I got caught up with a fight with a mini zombie, but I killed it. I killed it before it did too much damage, so I was quite happy with myself there. That was probably the best achievement of the night, was killing a mini zombie without dying. That's my finest moment of the day. But that being said, it is pretty awesome to get one over on someone who is an idiot like that. Or someone that you just don't like for whatever reason. It does give you great satisfaction to do that. But I'm not insinuating that about anyone, mind. That that comment... You know the comment that I'm referring to, like... I think. But... Yeah. That's the thing. I really like this, um... Where this is going so far. But I better jump in my bed because it's getting late and... If I don't go to bed, I will get caught up by mobs. And why wouldn't that jump? It's now jumping. That's great. Let's go back to the house. And let's go. And I think I might grab something on the way through because I'm starving. Did I keep the food? Probably not. 
Let's go. All right, all right, all right. Let's grab a bunch of carrots and then let's sleep. Let's sleep tonight. Let's go. All right, let's go back to the uh, security center. There we go. Jump. Let's go over there. Let's jump. And get over that. Get over that. Let's start building around. But that's there, so let's... Yeah. And then I'm just kind of filling in the walls around here, like this and this. And there we go. There we go. Just march on way through. You know, I could probably get some food. Do I have food right now? Yeah, I do. I'll just have some food. And then I like, I then take down the rest of these buildings with a carrot. Because I should have really brought like a pickaxe with me, and not pickaxe, like a, a wooden axe. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, would, I would, would, I would, 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 axe. Tongue tied. Whoa. Whoa. My tongue is seriously tired today, and I don't even know why. Okay, so. There we go. Nope. Oh, there's meat bone. Meat on a bone. Or zombie flesh, whatever you want to call it. But I think that's where it... It's where the moral compass lies. All right, there we go. And yeah, there we go. That's good. Well happy with this so far. Now, I've got a few extra bits there. That's ain't not too much of a problem. I can just delete those. This is basically just one of those things. Okay, there we go. There we go. Alright! Yeah! Come on! Alright, yeah, so boom, 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 boom. Yeah, okay, alright, 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 that's a good start. This is coming together. So let's uh, go here. Alright. Yeah, that works out. And then what we're going to do is I'll build an entrance way there. Alrighty then. That's that bit built. Now I'm going to carry on and I'm going to build an archway in both areas where I've got one of the door. I need a bit more wood. Plenty of it. There we go. Then I jump on this one and turn it into an arch. Yeah, that's pretty good. I want to turn both of them into the arch. Um, you're probably wondering why I'm building it so close to everything. I kind of want to keep my buildings relatively close to each other. There's no need for this. I've, I know there's like another village over there, but that requires effort right now. And I just want a very easy place to gain or look at all my resources. So, that's what this storage area is kind of all about. And I will be in time moving stuff over, but that will come in time. 
Uh, for the rest of this episode, I'm just going to complete this four. Off screen, what I'll probably do at some point is to build at least the first tier of this. Just so I've got some stuff. I can move all the wood over here and I can like play with everything else to make it look somewhat decent. And yes, before anyone says anything, I know there's like a ton of uh, crates in the A building. That was never really meant as like a high class... Um, Storage system. No, I'm really happy. But <laughs> so I yawned. That in compare com when you compare it to like like last episode, that like I can use like tons of resources, but um, I don't know where they are, so I just spend like ages looking for them. But with this, I can then locate them based on the area that I've put them in. And that will make things a bit more efficient in between episodes and for the episodes in general. So I can like, plan accordingly. Anyway, and just uh, getting rid of this dirt. While I keep an eye out for mobs, because mobs could spring and attack me at any moment. I don't. I particularly want to leave this place today with all my lives intact. So far, I've been able to do that somehow. I don't quite know how. Um, but we'll see. Oh, sorry. Oh dear. I think I've taken out a bit too many, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We've got this handled. We're handling it well. Anyway. There you go. I'm just making sure that they are all ready to go. Ready for a brand new day. Because it's a new day. Yes, it is. Bah. There we go. Oh, yeah. And there we go. We're taking off another layer of social media. And then once some point it will be full of surprises like a piñata hit by children with a giant hammer and they really batter that thing like yeah 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 gonna batter the piñata 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 gonna hit you really hard 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 you know that sort of thing. So the only difference between that and actual smashing a piñata up does not involve me singing. I don't even know how expensive it is and how. I want to just kind of build one in a random location, but I'm pretty sure that's nothing and that's probably just my own doing. But yeah, there we go. Let's go. Let's mine that. Mine. Mine. And then we get rid of that block. That block. That block can go as well. That block can go. A couple more blocks can go. And there you go. And it's like. Oh, we're getting near close to the end of the day, so we be super careful. Yeah, I did delete like a ton of. Uh, yeah. There we go. Just gonna put that down to stop that from having a hissy fit. Anyway, let's carry on building because we need. Yeah, man, there we go, there we go. Aha! There we go. Go! Come on! Oh, and I put it there. I build it there. Come on. And I'm just going to do that. And it is starting to get very close to the curfew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any more? Is there any more? There is one more stack there. Let's just get this down. And let's get it in, 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 in. Come on, in you go. 
although I sense that's starting to go into a bit of a night, so I'm going to make a rush back to bed. In this episode, we've kind of made a start on the uh, super storage unit. Thank you very much for watching this episode. In the next episode, we'll be continuing our Minecraft adventures, taking on a, something completely different. Until then, this has been Robotic Master, and you're signing off. Goodbye, everyone.